one of the great tragedies of modern life is that many people are losing sight of what it is to even be a human being. The philosophies, the images presented to us in television and the media strip us, strip us of the dignity of what it is to be human. Let us think of the story of Jesus feeding the crowds in the desert. There wouldn't have been a single one of those Jews who followed Jesus who wouldn't have recognized the parallel between this event and Moses leading the people and feeding them through manna from heaven. But this time we see Christ asking for what is available. What do the disciples find and are able to offer to him? He takes the things that people give through obedience, the things of the earth. And it is through these things that God reveals his glory. God reveals his great power and blesses them. So too, our very salvation. God does not grant us salvation from afar, disconnected, uninvolved. God becomes man, Christ at the Fourth Ecumenical Council, recognized both man and God, and he ascends in his humanity with our humanity, revealing to us the great potential, the great dignity of what it means to be a human being. We are called, each of us, to live out this obedience, this dignity in our lives, the dignity in our choices, in our behavior, the way we treat other people, but most especially in the way we accept suffering. When we accept suffering and face the struggles of our lives with patience, with trust, hope, when we never lose sight of God's love for us, then we find this dignity, the dignity we see in Christ as he carries his cross, as we carry our cross and so live out this dignity we become a living sacrifice to God. And once again, even in us, God's great power is able to be shown.